So good to be with you and uh, hope you're having a good start to your May. The weather has been warm and yes, we've had flooding, but thankfully we haven't hit 90 plus and not that that could happen this time of the year, but it's, uh, it's going to be mitigated a bit by some cooler weather coming in. The question will be how much rain will fall in the coming days. The snow melt is significant. Oh, just a week and a half ago, Jordan L was still frozen over, but we still have, I have to mention this, a lot of snow in the mountains. Over at Big Cottonwood Canyon, at the Snowtail site at Snowbird, there is still 70 and a half inches of water in the 150 or so inches on the ground. Now that's water that will come out when temperatures hit the 90s in the Salt Lake Valley. So we're not going to be done anytime soon. And here's the upper low moving in that'll bring that slight chance for a thunder shower to Southwest Utah, possibly uh, tonight, tomorrow, uh, to parts of Utah, especially tomorrow. I think tomorrow will be our better chance for a shower or a thunder shower, especially as this storm starts to move in. It'll more, more than anything else, it'll graze Salt Lake City. Our high today with southerly winds 10 to 20 miles per hour is going to be 80. We'll call it partly cloudy. Some sun coming and going throughout the day. Around the remainder of the region, uh, 65 Park City and Evanston 66, Logan 74, 81 in St. George with 73 in Kanab. Officially uh, tonight, we'll see a low of 54. There is a very slight chance for a shower and St. George, oh, Slight chance on Thursday, and then uh, we're mostly dry, but cooler, not nearly as hot as it has been. For Salt Lake City, Ogden, Provo, and the Wasatch Front, 80 today, and then turning cooler tomorrow. Tomorrow's high will be 72, and there will be a fair chance for showers and thunderstorms. Most of these thunder showers will likely be under a quarter of an inch. Some mountain areas might see more than a quarter of an inch, so how much will that add to the flooding? Probably not a lot, but it could be a problem of so many days in a row of 80 plus degree weather. And then even though it's still warm tomorrow, you add a little bit of rain. Now there's just a slight chance Friday for less than five hundredths of an inch. But then Saturday, a higher chance and Sunday into Monday, a chance for showers. The cooler temperatures will keep the snow melt in check, but also the river still will be running high. And so anywhere we have a heavier shower, that might be associated with say a thunderstorm, we could easily, easily have some local flooding. So we're gonna have to keep an eye to the sky and watch for those thunder showers the next four or five days. And that uh, the best chance is going to be Thursday and Saturday. So those two days, mark them down, keep an eye on them. And then uh, another thing to do for those of you who don't have to worry about flooding, it's a good time to put down pre-emergent fertilizer. That's the kind that kills everything in the seed you know, that's when it's a seed. So you've got weeds that are in the seed form and, uh, and or you can put on some regular weed killer with your fertilizer, but a good time to fertilize because you can see we have several days where it could rain and that keeps us from turning on our sprinklers. And I would encourage you not to turn on your sprinklers, wait for the rain, that'll help out a whole lot. So again, warmest day of the next seven days is today. Hope you enjoy it.